Fast feline reflexes and a prehensile tail make Tigra a dazzling force to be reckoned with. Introducing Tigra, the feline fury. Let's talk about it. What a party people in the place. I am the ruckus and these are my toys. On deck, we have the Marvel Legends fan channel exclusive retro series, Tigra. Let's get it. Check it. She's in the old school toy biz packaging. Um, as you can see, this is not the uh, X-Men packaging or the Spider-Man packaging. We haven't seen this since... When was the last time we saw this particular card? Had to have been the Grey Hulk. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe that's the last time we saw this. This is usually... This was actually the first... When they started this line, it came out on this card right here. That, uh with the uh, background right there. And um, it was a mixture of uh, Spider-Man figures, Avengers, um, X-Men figures. So yeah, this is, uh, I guess we'll consider this the Avengers card. But anyway, you've got Tigra. She's in the uh, the crab shell uh, window uh, casing there. And you can clearly see the figure. She comes with an additional head sculpt and a pair of fists. It reads, Cat's Head Amulet. We turn to the back here, and what we can see is, it reads, Tigra the Feline Fury. Fast feline reflexes and a prehensile tail make Tigra a dazzling force to be reckoned with. I know I read that already, but, uh, some of you may have come in late to the party. But anyway, you've got uh, some artwork, Reach Tiger to Feline Fury. You've got Marvel at the top and a lot of legalese and other things we really don't care about. So let's look at her from the front again. One last time in packaging before we do away with Tiger and this card. We're not really doing away with the card. I bought two of them. One stays in package. But anyway, let's get Tigra open. So here we have Tigra out of the packaging. And at first glance, I've got to tell you, this is a beautiful figure. Hasbro really put in work with it. She looks very sleek, as a feline character should. Um, the head sculpt, the face looks, looks beautiful. She's got the tiger stripes. They all look like they're on point, but we'll, of course, take a closer look at that. But, um, yeah, so that's what we have right there. That's Tigra, the feline fury. So taking a closer look at Tigra here, once again, like I said, the, uh, the head sculpt, the face is very beautiful. It's um, nicely, nicely painted. She has, I'm trying to think that they are green eyes with, uh, of course, the feline pupils. Um, she's got the lipstick, which looks like the paint on the lipstick looks like it's on point. Her hair, there's no wash in the hair, but it's still done pretty nice. The uh, stripes on and crack in there. I want to see if I can maybe get to it's going to be difficult because of the hair but if you can you can see the striping goes all the way you know up her neck pretty difficult on this side but uh, if I can lift it up there 
Yeah, you can see it, yeah. So you've got stripes going up her neck, down her chest, along her torso, down her arms, even on her hand, both sides. Very, very nice. It even continues onto her back, which is great. Upper torso, lower down there, along her legs, both sides. Even her tail has got the striping with the, uh, the little puff there at the end. So yeah, the um, the uh, the paint the, the 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 paint apps are very good on this. I do have some paint chips. Let's see if I can get you up there so you can see it. Right there, at the inner elbow, both sides. Unfortunately, that's uh, I don't know if you can see that one, but. See if I can get it there. Okay, there we go. It's in there, but it's in there somewhere. You can see it. Uh, it won't look that bad if I have her with uh, folded elbows and all that. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's Tiger right there. So um, let's while we've got her in hand, let's uh, go through her articulation. The head goes down that far. It's not going to go back too far because of, you know, her, her her hair is definitely going to impede that. She can, fortunately enough, she can go left and right. And she does have, you can give her some attitude, which is great. Her arms can do a 90. Shoulders can rotate. 360 it can go out she's got she's got bicep swivel huh she's got du double jointed double jointed elbows and they're pinless that's great pinless elbows double jointed Shardimus Prime has to be jumping for joy about this Lord have mercy say it ain't so pinch me or don't pinch me. I don't want to wake up. Yeah, there you go. Pinless, double-jointed elbows. Wrist. Swivel. Hinge. Torso. She can go forward that much. Back that much. Of course, because it's female, she has no waist articulation. Uh, hips. She can do the splits that far. Her legs can go that far, which is disappointing. I would like to believe that uh, it can go a little bit more, being that this is an agile character. Doesn't really go back all that much. Thigh rotation. Pinless, double-jointed knees. And you've got you. Point your toe. The toe can rise up like that. And you have ankle pivot. You have holes on the bottom of the feet. And oh, we have one more bit of articulation. The tail. The tail can swivel and it can detach. And that's the articulation for Tiger, I, I, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed with the uh, articulation in the hips uh, with the legs. I think they should be able to do the splits more and the legs should be able to, you know, rise up a little bit more than they can. But it is what it is. Now, as for Tiger's accessories, she comes with an additional pair of hands, closed fisted hands, and they too have that striping which is good and uh, yeah it's pretty uh, pretty cool it's molded in that uh, orange plastic sorry about that I got out of focus that was on me but uh, yeah so there you have that and of course we also have 
this other head sculpt, which is her growling or gritting her teeth. And uh, yep, this is beautiful too. Um, it's meaner. I think I like the uh, the neutral head sculpt better. It shows more of her beauty in that, but this is pretty cool too. The eyes, once again, they appear green to me. And the, uh, the pupils, they have that feline slit. And she's got her, um, her striping is on her face, so they stay consistent with that. And of course, there's her hair. This hairstyle's a little bit more um, wild, if you will. So, those are uh, Tiger's accessories. I'm about to pop this hat on. So, popping the... So, I'm popping the head off, and it's on a dumbbell joint. There. So, that's something. And then, see how difficult it is to get this on. Oh, this is rough. I think I'm going to have to do this off camera. Yep. Off screen with this one. So I finally managed to get her head on. So be advised, it is some work. You may want to heat the head up so it'll uh, be a little bit more pliable when um, sliding on that uh, ball peg, that dumbbell peg. But um, that's Tigra with her uh, mean face on. And here's Tigra rocking her fist look. So it's time to do a little comparison. And of course, it had to happen. First up is the original Tigra from the dark days of Marvel Legends. And uh, as you can see, you can understand why it was the dark days. Um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, look at the difference in those head sculpts. Look how pretty the retro figure looks compared to the old schooler. I mean, wow. I will say this. I can't take, I can't take everything away from the old one. Um, let's just say that, uh, the old one has got it going on up top and I'll just leave it at that. You know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is, uh, what an upgrade looks like. Next up, we have Patsy Walker, AKA Hellcat. And, um, for those of you who, uh, don't know, Tigra, whose real name is Greer Nelson, used to be, a uh, heroine known as the cat back in the seventies. And um, after she uh, became Tigra, um, in an issue of the Avengers, Patsy Walker, who used to have a comic of her own, um, she uh, became the uh, she became the Hellcat, and uh, then she um, she was part of the Avengers. She uh, went away and trained with Moon Dragon. And she does have mental abilities. But um, yeah, there it is. You've got uh, the original cat, Tigra, side by side with Hellcat. And keeping the feline motif going, we've got Tigra, side by side with the white tiger. And she's got her chain all flipped over here. There you go. That's a little bit better. White Tiger and Tigra. And you know, if we're going to play the cat game, you can't leave out T'Challa the Black Panther, the original cat in the Marvel Universe. And since we are doing the cat motif thing, you know I always got to finish it off with a big one, with a builder figure. And I bet you all didn't think you'd ever see this guy again. Here we have Titus. So to sum it all up, I love this figure. It's beautiful. The paint apps are on point. The It's got the pinless elbows and the pinless knees. Uh, as far as the uh, color, some people think that it's 
a little too uh, reddish, I guess. But I'm cool with it. I like it. I love both head sculpts. I love, uh, once again, uh, I love the articulated tail. That's great. Um, my nitpicks, what I don't love, I still think that uh, the articulation leaves some to be desired. The lower articulation in particular, I think the legs, the hips should be a little bit, uh, we should have a little bit more range there. Um, but other than that, uh, I love this figure. So, um, yeah, tell me your thoughts down below. Uh, so thank you guys for rocking with me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Until the next time, my peeps, remember, the hunt continues. And I'm out. Peace.